Uh, you know, definitely not. I, I was actually scheduled to fight December 12th, uh, and I got a call from my manager, Dan Lambert, saying that the UFC had contacted him regarding uh, this next Ultimate Fighter called uh, Redemption. And uh, I'm a huge believer in uh, everything happens for a reason. Uh, so I was super excited. You know, we don't get, there's not many times in life where you get second chances. Uh, especially second chances at something that you're really passionate about, and what you love, and what what you dream about, what you think about all day. Um, so for me, it was it was like, oh man, God just answered me. So it was I was super excited, and uh, I knew that the guys on the show would be just as hungry as I am. Uh, so I knew that the shows would be good and. Uh, It'd be exciting times, and uh, so far it's proven to be that. And the decision was no-brainer. Oh, it was absolutely no-brainer. You know, the my season, the ATT versus Black Zillions, I enjoyed every minute of it. It was the most uh, growing experiences of my life. I learned so much about what I'm what I'm capable of, uh, mentally, physically, spiritually. Uh, what, being able to fight injured, uh, beat up, is just uh, it was was one of those experiences that I knew that. Coming into here, whatever came from it, I would learn a lot and grow from it. Uh, not only as a man, but as not only in fighting, but in a man as a man as well in my life. So it was a 100% a no-brainer. Even though it's only been about two years, how much have you grown? I want to be fine with my actions. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, coming off the show and then getting into the UFC, uh, that's obviously every fighter's uh, big dream to get in the UFC. You know, I had a. I had a very busy, busy year. I had a little over six fights uh, that year. Um, so for me, getting released from the when I got released from the UFC, it was just learn from my mistakes, get back to the drawing board, dot those eyes, cross those T's, and uh, knowing that when I do get another opportunity to shine, I'll show what I've learned and uh, and really make 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 a big impact. And that's. Uh, that's precisely what I plan on doing. You know, I've uh, I've, I've been addressing some of the holes in my game, and um, you guys will see uh, <laughs> when it's all said and done uh, what I've what I'm capable of. How different was the show this time? Without, without getting away any details, obviously. How different was your experience? On this? Yeah, you know, um, as far as the the, you know, I, I, in my season, the ATT versus Black Sillians, uh, the rivalry was right from the get-go. Right when the guys showed up in the house, like we weren't really talking. It was already like the line was there in the sand, and uh, and pretty much the talk and smack already happened. Uh, here now, you know, this is the second time for all of us in here. Everyone are veterans. There's fathers in this house. There's guys with with uh, with children. Um, so I feel as I feel as far as like a maturity maturity levels and life experiences, uh, everyone is very. Uh, just more experience, so there's not, there's not a. I feel like it's less ego. Everyone knows what they need to do. Everyone's trying to come out there and win, uh, and it's very professional. So I, I feel, I feel as as far as at that standpoint, um, it's I, it's 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 more enjoyable, I would say. And uh, but the, the but the fights are are very fierce um, because we're all UFC caliber fighters, and we're all trying to chase that dream, get back in the get back in the big league.